Hi everyone, we'd like to welcome you to Real Talk. I'm your host, Pat Terrio, and we're here at the Oconee Regional Library, and we've got Sally Matthews here over Children's Services. Hi, Sally. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Doing great. We're so glad to be here today, Sally. Now, we really want to highlight to the community certain things that you all have going on here at the library that not everyone would know about. Mm -hmm, that's right. Yeah, this is our summer reading program, and we have a lot of kids come and join us, and we are so excited about it. This is really exciting. You know, there's such a huge crowd here, mm -hmm. and you know, of course, I came to this library when I was a little kid, and so much has changed, and, mm -hmm. and I've had the wonderful opportunity to do some storytelling here. That's right. But yeah. this event that you've got today, Sally, uh, share right. with us about this event, because you've got a fantastic Mr. Jason Clark that's here from Atlanta, and we really want to speak with him in just a few, but share with the, with the people out there some of the programs that you have going on, mm -hmm. specifically, and about the one today. Okay. Today's program is... Uh, snakes, reptiles. We had Jason Clark from Southeastern Reptile Rescue and he had brought along some of the snakes. He said poisonous, non-poisonous, all kinds of snakes and you know to me every snake is poisonous. Yeah, but, to me too, honey. <laughs> yeah, but it, it is an educational program because that's why we want to educate the children about mm -hmm. these snakes because most of them think all snakes are dangerous but we want to educate them and of, of course to entertain and also to teach kids about what to do and what not to do about snakes. That's why we had About the, safety, too, safety, is what I'm, I'm, right, I'm gathering. Right, now, right. so you got the, the mm -hmm. snakes alive today. What other things have you had throughout this summer? Right. We had a clown that performed with us. We have a magician, and we have, we'll be having storytellers, and those are some of the programs that we had. You know, Mm -hmm. And so for the people out there, if you don't come to the library that often, they've got a, a lot of wonderful things going on for the children. And, of course, there's adults here as well That's enjoying right. themselves. That's right. Yeah, this is entertainment for everybody, adults and children. Yeah. And the That's summer right. reading program. Mm -hmm. That's right. Tell us about that. Okay. What it is is we have two parts. One is where we have the performers come and perform for the kids, and the other part is the reading part. Children come to the library, they set a goal saying how many books they would like to read over the summer. Six is the num minimum number of books they can read. And we'll give them a log sheet, and we'll give them some bookmarks and other activity sheets. They write down the names of the books they read over the summer, and you can have an adult read to them, it doesn't, because babies, you know, we want, this is for babies to about sixth grade. Okay. That's our, the children's uh, section. Mm -hmm. We have the mm -hmm. teen program. That's a different one. Right. So adults can read to your child, or you can read on your own. And once you attain your goal, you'll get a prize. And we start giving out the prizes in July. In July. Yeah. The last day to sign up for the program is June 30th. June 30th. Remember that. Mm -hmm. You know what's so great, Sally, mm -hmm. is you all have all these different people coming in. You have just a variety of things, uh -huh. and it's educational, and it's fun. Yeah, educational entertainment and fun. Yeah. And it's free. And it's free. Left That's that right. back up <laughs> That's right. All right. So today is Snakes Alive, so mm -hmm. we're very excited about speaking with Mr. Jason and seeing some of these reptiles that he's brought That's in. Right. And some of the kids, because there are a lot of groups that have been here that mm -hmm. are here to, to represent different agencies and churches That's right. and different mm -hmm. organizations. So. Mm -hmm. We certainly appreciate everything you all are doing here at the Lawrence yes, County yeah. Library. We are so glad that they are able to come, and thank you all for coming. Absolutely. We'll be back in just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. Power, speed, maneuverability, and reliability are just some of the things that make a championship race car. They're also some of the things that make one of the nation's best lawnmowers. I always expect high performance on the racetrack, and it's no different when it comes to high performance on my lawn. Hi, I'm Richard Petty. Visit your local Gravely dealer today. Gravely lawnmowers are the only mowers allowed at Petty's Garage. And we are back, everyone. We're here with Jason Clark of the Southeast Southeastern Reptile Rescue. Mm -hmm. Nice to have you here, Mr. Thank you. Clark. Thank you for having me. Yes, ma'am. Now, we want you to tell the people a little bit about you because you've got an impressive resume behind your name. Yeah, I've been uh, working with the reptiles for uh, ever since I can remember, since I was uh, about seven years old. Mm -hmm. And uh, just sort of catching snakes, and once people realize you're not afraid of them, everyone wants you to come catch them. And uh, we got on call for 911, and that grew and grew and grew. And now we, uh, this is all we do full time, 24 hours a day, it seems like. So, wow. Uh, yeah. 
Now, so you started very young. You didn't have a fear of snakes, or did you? I didn't have a fear of snakes, and through education, I learned to have a healthy fear of snakes. Right. Having no fear of snakes is not a good thing. That's foolish. Isn't you it? need to have a healthy fear because you, if you just, you know, people say, "Oh, I'm not scared of rattlesnakes." Mm-hmm. I'm like, well, that's fine. I'm gonna kill you whether you're scared of it or not. Right. You know? Right. <laughs> because you have to have a healthy respect mm-hmm. and not an irrational fear. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, what do you do? You, you travel all around, I, I would say, the country, and you also have a show on Animal Planet. Yeah, we, uh, we filmed the show. We started filming in 2008. We finished in 2010, and it's in reruns right now in the U.S., and then it's playing in some other countries this year as well. And what's the name of it? It's named uh, Snake's Ken on Animal Planet. You guys mm-hmm. get that? Now, and so here you are. You come down to Dublin, Georgia, mm-hmm. and you probably had hundreds of screaming kids. Yeah, they were today. a little excited. This <laughs> How is that? Because you had such energy and such personality. Well, when you were sharing I, with I these just kids. you know uh, these, these animals. I have a passion for them, mm-hmm. and I always tell people, you know, you can't think of anything that's more hated, more feared, right. has more myths attached to than a snake. Okay. So, if we can take the snake and not get people to love it but mm-hmm. get them to appreciate it. Mm-hmm. And they can appreciate everything else in nature. It'll be easy for everything else. Right. And so this is kind of our building block for everything else. And so um, people are often afraid of what they don't understand. So introducing them to it a little bit mm-hmm. and letting them see, you know, this was a scary show, but nobody died. Nobody you know? died. And, uh, and, and then they, when they see one in their yard, they're less likely to kill it, which means they're less likely to get bit. Right. And so as we've done this <clears throat> over the years, we have really started to see we're having an impact because mm-hmm. people will, people will get our number right. and they text us a picture of a snake and they say, okay, <clears throat> I sent you a picture. Now that I know what it is, we're not killing this one. Right. You know? And so we're not only saving snakes, but we're saving people because as you're not killing them and interacting with them, you're mm-hmm. not getting bit. Right. And so, but we also do get a lot of snake bite calls too, people mm-hmm. with... You know, my kid was just bit. What do we do? You know, and identifying that and then helping them out and knowing what you know they should tell the hospital and that kind of thing. Now I live way out in the country. We call that the boonies. Oh yeah. Okay, and I do have a healthy and also an unhealthy fear of snakes. <laughs> and so we would love for you to kind of show us a few of your trinkets okay. that you brought uh, into town. Like this little guy. Here. Wait a minute. Oh Jesus. <laughs> this snake. Wait, wait, he's too close to me. Yeah, I'll hold him, I'll hold him in this hand. I'll, 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 I'll stretch my arm out. Now, Father, I stretch my hand to thee. Okay. This is a snake. He doesn't live in Georgia. Right. This is a bull snake. There is a snake that does live in Georgia yes. that's related to him called a pine snake. Uh-huh. And he does all the same little antics this guy does. Move it and over a little bit further this now. This one? Wait! Oh, oh, this one. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. he's completely harmless. Is he? So many people, you know, when we say a snake is harmless, mm-hmm. what we mean by that is even if it bites you, it's harmless. Okay? Um, you know, my daughters, they got bit by their first harmless snake when they were two years old. How do you know that it's harmless? Because it's not venomous. You know, people talk about poisonous snakes. First of all, snakes are not poisonous. There are no poisonous snakes. Mm-hmm. Poison is poison ivy, you get it through your skin. Right. Or you drink poison and you die. This is venom. Venom has to be injected. You can take poison, put it on your skin. Mm -hmm. Unless you have an open cut and it gets in your bloodstream, it's not going to really affect your skin. Okay. Um, If you ingest venom, um, it's not really going to hurt you. It's mainly protein. So unless you have an open cut, an ulcer in your mouth or stomach, you know, that's, that's why we call them venomous snakes, venomous. not poisonous snakes. I got you. Okay? So, but this guy is non-venomous. Non-venomous. Which means he has no fangs. He has he has a lot of teeth, and if he bites you, it's going to bleed. But it's going to be nothing more than a briar scratch. Now, could that's I it. touch it with my finger? Just one yeah. finger. Hold yeah. it. Go yeah. to, hold on now. Go ahead, right there. <laughs> this would be my first time touching a snake. Yeah, I'll hold his head over here. All, head. all this end does is poop. You can touch that end. Oh, my. Okay. Oh! <laughs> we're holding right here. How about that? Okay, wait. Wait, you want me to actually hold it? Yeah. Hold his head, though. You, I got his don't head. let go. Here. Don't play games. Now. I got his head. All right. You hold him right back here. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. He's not slimy. He's completely oh. dry like a piece of leather. Okay, let me. Feels like a pair of shoes I have. Yep. Don't let him hear that. Make wait, him, I know. It makes him mad. Oh, it makes him. God. <laughs> hold him tight now. Oh, God. I'm very nervous, if you all can tell this. You mean just put him around No, I don't. Okay. Just trying to help okay, you. Okay, lay him out. Oh, God, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. At least you touched it. I touched it. Okay. 
You did do that. This thing is freaking me out. I'm just telling you, I touched it. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that one. <laughs> you know, so someone like me, I mean, just to even touch a snake, mm -hmm. you know, <coughs> excuse me, is huge. Well, you know, um, okay. The way you get over the fear is by exposure. I know. Exactly. I know. So this is, you know, if you're afraid of snakes, we only expect you to be wrapping them around your neck the first minute. Yes, see them. So I have to. Touching them is a big step. Right. That's huge. And people think snakes are slimy. They're it's not. not. You know, if you put your hand in the sandbox and you pick your hand up, what's on your hand? Sand. Sand. You put him in the sandbox and pick him up. What's stuck to him? Nothing. Nothing. He's dry. <laughs> you know, so you're slimy, okay? But don't, he's don't get not. slimy. Yeah, yeah, he's not slimy. He's completely okay. dry, like a nice piece of leather. Yes. How you feel? Nice purse. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Show me something else, but let me move back. All right. We'll, <laughs> we'll get him in this box right here. Woo! <laughs> you know, I'm definitely confident in a few fears here. Um, and snakes is definitely one of them. Hold on now. Don't do it behind my back. I'm not. I'm going over here. I'm watching you. <laughs> <coughs> you know, we're learning so much about uh, reptiles and, and things that we need to look out for if we were to see these out in our yards. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. 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 She's not ready. <laughs> wait, Jesus. Oh. I am the host, James. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Jason, why are you doing this to me? You said you're the next animal. I did, but don't just bring it on me like that. <laughs> Put it over that way. All I'll right. turn his head this way. Talk about it. James, can you get this guy right, right. here? Come on over. There you go. Now. Talk about it. This is an American alligator. Um, he's a little guy, and, you know, when they're little like this, they're so cute. And people oh, get them. cute. People get them as pets. And that's illegal in Georgia. And no the, pet alligators. Yeah, they're protected. So... That's how we end up. When we have over 30 alligators right now, right. we keep because people get these guys in illegally. And uh, the reason they can't be released is because once you feed one of these guys, he starts to look at people as a food source, oh, and that's when you have alligator attacks. Right. So once they've been kept in captivity, from that point on, they either have to be killed or kept. Yes. They cannot be released. So, so this, this is, guy will be with us permanently. Is that right? Mm -hmm. I'm sure you've named him. This is Gatorade. <laughs> That's so cute. Now, how old is Gatorade? We don't know. He's a rescue. So if I had to guess, oh, two or three years old, maybe. Now, he's definitely just scoping the crowd out. He's yeah, he is. Now, I'll touch Gatorade. You can touch him. Wait, don't hold it now. Don't hold him? No, know? wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. trying to be a professional with you, Jason. It's not quite working out. I am very professional. Okay. Go ahead. Just see the same time. <laughs> Sometimes that tail okay. will kind of whip I know. I was just showing you. Okay, go All right, ahead. just hold it. Hey, Gatorade. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, goodness. Yeah, he almost got you there, didn't he? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. He's very soft. People are always amazed. You feel him under here? No, no, I'm not going that far, I don't think. You want to feel him under this belly? If you want to. He may pee on you, but... What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Okay, that was good enough. He also has double eyelids. If you'll watch his eye open. Oh, my God. Watch his eye. And you see the other eyelid I goes from that. back to front. Turn, let's see here. Let him see that. Yeah, you see his eye right there? This is so cool. It's really quick. Wow. And he's got a clear eyelid. It's kind of like goggles when he's swimming under the water. That's how he uh So how would, you, how would you actually, you know, so you, this is a rescue. Uh, <laughs> How do you how do you help a person like me not be afraid of something like this if I were to see it? Um, well, uh, you know, first of all, you have to understand these alligators don't care anything about people. Right. And a truly wild alligator that hasn't been fed by people, when he sees someone, he'll go under the water and disappear. I see. And that's what they're supposed to do. Um, people say, well, you know, Jason, me and my friend go down to the, the river fishing all the time. And mm -hmm. then this one kid asked me, you know, what do we do if we get down there and the alligator comes out of the water after? Right. You know, I said, that's easy. I said, just take off running and trip your friend. And, you know, <laughs> you'll be fine. But, be just fine. But no, these guys don't want to hurt us. And, right, right. You know, so, so you're it, teaching safety. You're educating exactly. everyone about these, about uh, the reptiles. 
but you're definitely teaching safety because you don't want exactly. to go into a situation. And, you know, we talk about, there's a lot of young kids in here, and we yeah. talk about venom, and we talk about bites, mm -hmm. and some people are like, why are you covering these things? Well, you know what? When you go home and your kids are out in the backyard playing, right. and you're not sitting there watch them, these things live in the backyard. Mm -hmm. And if there has been no talk and no education about this, and your kid gets bit, you're going to be the blame, you know? Yeah, because that's true. if you live in Dublin, you live in central Georgia, and you need to know, and your kids need to know mm -hmm. what's in their yard. And it's not a fear thing, it's, it's an educational thing. Absolutely. You know, just like you teach them to cross the, watch the both ways before they cross the road. Right. And you tell them what happens if they don't. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing with snakes. You tell them to what a snake looks like mm -hmm. and you tell them what to do and what not to do you know so many kids will see a snake and want to go poke it with a stick right you know and you know i get calls every year with kids bitten by snakes wow. you know i've visited several kids in the hospital mm -hmm. this year and last year with, with snake bites and so that's one of the things we're trying to educate people on is what to do and what not to do given the situation snake. very yeah. good okay well do you have one more thing that we you'd sure like do. to show we us we sure do <laughs> We really hope that you all are learning something out there about reptiles, about the safety, about being safe when you are outside. Certain creatures, you can't have an alligator at home. So for those out there who really want that on their wish list, you're going to have to take it off. We've got one more thing you want to show us? You may want to back up. I've, that's a warning that I'm going to back up. All right. This is a timber rattlesnake. Okay. Uh, some people refer to them as a canebrake rattlesnake. It's actually a timber rattlesnake. And this is a snake that lives and can be found here in Dublin, Georgia. And this snake, if he bit me, would be really bad. And people would say, well, why is he not trying to bite you? Well, animals don't sit around, especially snakes, hoping to simply get a chance to bite somebody. You know, we tell people... All the time, watch where you put your hands and feet. And never try to kill or catch a snake. Right. And as long as you follow those rules, you don't have to worry about a bite. But when you're not doing what you're supposed to do, you're not watching where you step, you're not watching where you put your hands and feet, right. and you're interacting with a snake by trying to kill or catch it, you're risking a bite. Right. So leave them alone, and they'll do the same exact thing for you. And this is one to leave alone. This is one to leave alone. This is the timber rattlesnake. Okay. And uh, he, he can definitely be, a, a, this can definitely be a deadly bite. I believe that. Are you holding? What? <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> just kidding. Okay. We'll let you hold this guy. All right. You got a good, okay, yeah. very good. So All we're right. sticking back in this Stick box. Stick him back in the box. You're like coming over here with the rattlesnake, but then the harmless one, you're like, ah. Oh, okay, I know, so. I know. <clears throat> I just have a few phobias I'm working yeah. out. But listen, it's been wonderful chatting with you. Yes, we want to really talk with some of these kids out here that, have, that have had the pleasure of listening to mm -hmm. you. We appreciate everything you're doing. And thank you for bringing it down you're here. You're welcome. Dublin, and the last, last thing I want to say is people often wonder, how do I keep snakes out of my yard? Don't waste your money on mothballs, lime. Sulfur, snake repellent, it's useless. It doesn't work. There are some things that you can do yourself. You don't have to pay anybody to help you do to keep snakes out of your yard and to keep them from coming in your house. How's that? You go to our website, snakesareus.com. Okay. On there, click on Identify a Snake. It'll take you straight to Guide to a Snake for Yard mm -hmm. and Guide to a Snake for House. Free information everybody can do. Really? Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right. Yes, so no, no more mothballs. No more mothballs. They don't work. <laughs> Wonderful. We are yes, certainly. We appreciate Thank you, Jason. You very Ladies much. and gentlemen, Jason Clark. Hey, oh, you got one of those insurance apps too? You know how this thing works? No, I'm sorry. Not an app. It's my agent. In this moment. No, I'm fine. Thanks. It's good to know you have a trusted, independent auto owner's insurance agent who's there when you need them. Great. Man, I got to get one of those. Auto Owner's Insurance. The no problem people. See your insurance, your auto owner's agent at 904 Bellevue Avenue in Dublin or call 272-0915. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're here with Bryson Campbell from Communities and Schools. How are you, Bryson? Good. Now, tell us a little bit about Bryson. How old are you, and where do you go to school? I'm six, and I go to Southwest Lawrence Elementary. Southwest Lawrence. So you're a little raider, aren't you? Now, tell us what, did you enjoy yourself today? 
Tell us something, one thing that you remember that you learned that Mr. Jason talked about with these snakes. That they're venomous. There's some venomous snakes. What else? And there's some harmless snakes. Harmless. Very good. Very good. Now, are you afraid of snakes at all? A little bit. A little bit. Now, so you learned a little bit more today so that you can really be careful when you actually see a snake? I see one more. I see one in in a um, trail in my backyard one time when he was coming from me and my brother was coming was coming from home. My daddy cut down all the grass and bushes so there wouldn't be no more snakes. Right, very good. So when you saw the snake, how did you react? What did you do? I got I got kind of scared. Mm -hmm. Did you run or what? Or you just were calm? Were you calm? I, I, no, I was scared. Then we. <laughs> Yeah, I told my I told my brother to take the long way, and then we just we went into a little shed where my where my where my friend's dog was, and I got kind of scared of. I thought he would bite, but he didn't. He didn't. So, and today you've learned a little bit more, so that if you ever come across another snake, you'll know what to do, right? My brother, my brother said, my brother said, go back. And you know what to do now, don't you? All right. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Bryson. We're here with one of the staff members from community with Communities in Schools. How are you? I'm good. How about you? Doing very well. Tell us who you are. Well, my name is Sherry Kensey, and I'm a third through fifth grade tutor at Communities in Schools. Well, Sherry, you brought a crowd here today, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, we did. So tell us about your kids, and tell us how it was bringing them here for this event. Well, it was actually exciting. Mm -hmm. And we come to the library every summer, so... Mm -hmm. This is not nothing really new to us, mm -hmm. so it was kind of... Mm. So tell me this, so how many kids do you normally have part of your program during the summer? During the summer we normally have like from ages 4 to 18. We may have like from the grade pre-K to 5th, we may have like maybe 40 kids. About 40 kids, and yeah. so you all are already active with coming to the library and, yes. and taking taking, uh, you know, advantage of all the different opportunities they have yes, here. Yes, Very good. Well, communities and schools, you all are doing some great things down there with Jackie Pittman. Yes, ma'am. Very good. Well, we certainly uh, thank you all for coming and being a part of this event. All right. Keep doing great things out right, there. Thank you. Thank you. And we've got some church representation here. We've got the House of Refuge Ministries International with Pastor Dorothy Simmons, uh, their youth group here. And we also have Greater Victory Temple Church of God in Christ with Prentice Edmonds Summer Program here. We'd like for you all to introduce yourselves and tell us a little bit about you and, and how today's event was for you. We'll start with the young'uns. My name is Honesty Edmonds. And I learned that most snakes aren't harmless so if I ever get bitten by one mm -hmm. I, I want panic that much. There, you want panic that much <laughs> <laughs> but maybe just a little bit. Right very good but you've learned something for high honesty good to see you. Hey little man tell us who you are. I'm Tristan Ellis. And how old are you Tristan? Seven. What did you learn today with this Snakes Alive program? If I see another snake in my life, I'll not panic. <laughs> <laughs> so he said if he sees another snake in his life, he will not panic. Very good. All right, we got some older people. Well, hello there. Tell us who you are. Tell us a little bit about your program you have there. Hey, my name is Shamika Jackson, and um, we use Pastor Edmonds Church, Greater Bridge Temple, a.k.a. GVT Summer Program. We've been doing it for eight years. It's a program to have for the kids to have a safe and positive place to spend their summer while their parents is working. And um, they get to go on different field trips. Last week they went to the Braves game. They went to the McCray Park. Um, we always come to the library on Wednesday, so they'll be able to still be doing educational thing while having fun. So you have a great summer program over there, and you're doing a lot of wonderful things. Yes, ma'am. And you haven't stopped yet. No, ma'am. Very good. Nice mm -hmm. to have you here. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, young lady. Talk to us. Um, I'm Joy Simmons. I teach the little kids at our church from kindergarten to second grade, and we just brought our youth ministry here. Now, Joy, tell us about your youth ministry. You know, I'm a part of your, your, your church, you know, of course, but tell us about the youth department and the things that you are really trying to do with the youth. 
Um, we like to do a lot of things just to make sure that they stay active over the summer and don't forget, you know, what they learned in school. So we try to keep them a little educational. Absolutely. Forever learning, even yes. through the summer. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we certainly appreciate you all coming out here for Snakes Alive. Keep doing wonderful things with your youth groups and youth departments. Thank you all out there for watching, for tuning in. We hope that you've learned a little bit. And I know I gave you a little, gave you a little special treat of my fears of snakes. <laughs> but, but anyway, we thank you for watching Real Talk, and please keep watching.